All right, Shalom. For the Kabai back by GMS lesson, GMS keep pushing. Before going further, I give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only God and Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, and Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, great millstone, for teaching us his truth according to the Bible and rule well. Another Shalom, Lord, is sincere acting as well as the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. All right, man, I just want to get into a quick lesson on. Um, you know, reincarnation is biblical. All right, contrary to what a lot of people say, contrary to a lot of you uh, uh, Christians, all right, but the Bible talks about, you know, reincarnation. You know, you was here before, all right? Let me just grab a few precepts and make it quick, you know, in and out. And Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. So the first precept one I want to grab, I want to go to... Um, Ecclesiastes, the first chapter. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> let's go to Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. It says, The thing that have been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. That's right. And we are up under the sun, right? Okay. The scripture is telling that there's no new thing. It's, 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 uh, I'll finish reading. It says, verse 10. Is there anything uh, wherefore it may, say, may be said, see, this is new. It have been already of old time, which was before us. You see? So we have been here before, man. You know? different bodies but the same spirit man okay we have walked the planet earth before man and i don't know why that's so hard well i, I understand because the lord has blinded these people but um you know the the the, the, the bible is, is telling that there's nothing that is on this earth that hasn't been done before or it hasn't been here okay it reads on um Verse 11, there is no remembrance of former things. Neither shall there be any remembrance of the things that are to come with those that shall come after. So there's no remembrance of you being here. That's why a lot of our people, you know, can't get the concept of reincarnation. They just feel like, you, you know, you, you, you live one time and you die. You know, never to come back again. You know, you just go straight to, to heaven. Okay. When you come back every three or four generations, man, you know, every what, um, what, about 25 years is a generation, anywhere from 25 to 32 years is a generation, all right? So you come back every three or four generations, man, okay? Um, since we're already in Ecclesiastes, let's jump to <clears throat> Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. It says, that which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been, and the most high required that which is past. That's right, man. So it's talking about your spirit. Your spirit has been here before, man. All right? You ever uh, <laughs> um, come across someone in your life, and you're just like, man, I know this person, man. You know? And y'all, y'all, you guys click. It's because you click together. You, 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 you was together in your past life, man. Okay? Speaking of myself first and foremost, man. You know, I, uh, you know, one of my best friends, um, you know, we know each other for a long time. And when we met, we just, we just clicked, man. You know, he couldn't explain it. I couldn't explain it. But um, when we got into this truth, you know, I came into this truth about, about a year before he, before he came into the truth, you know? And then we know once we came into the truth, we understood because we knew each other and we uh, was with each other in our past lives. You know, we knew each other, you know. We, uh, you know, <laughs> friends, you know. We knew each other, man. You know. And now we know this truth. We understand why we clicked it off the bat because we knew each other in our past lives. All right. So let's... um. Let's grab two more and wrap it up. Let's go to Revelation, the first chapter. 
All right. Chapter one, and I'll start at um, seven. It says, Revelation 1 and 7 says, Behold, he cometh with clouds. That he is talking about, Lord, Yahweh shall the word ignorantly and willingly calls God in Jesus Christ. I mean, called Jesus Christ, all right? His name is Yahweh Shai in ancient Hebrew, which means he delivers, he saves, all right, his people, all right? And who the word ignorantly calls God, his most name is, is his name is Yahweh, all right? In ancient Hebrew, it means he is, he exists. All right, we believe those names here on faith. Here, a great millstone. Okay, this is Revelation one and seven. He, behold, he come up with clouds, which is them chariots. Lord Yahweh shy, and every eye shall see him. So everyone's gonna see the Lord when he makes his return, man. All right. I mean, everyone's gonna see him. This is gonna be a, 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 a stop what you're doing type thing. Everyone's gonna stop what they're doing. All right, and they're going to behold the Lord. It says, and they also which pierced him. Now, when you read the scripture, the scripture is over 2,000 years old, man. You know, these, these, these scriptures were written over 2,000 years ago. So, <laughs> there's no one walking the planet Earth 200 years old. You know what I mean? So that's talking about reincarnation. The same uh, 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 Roman general or lieutenant, whatever you want to call it, that pierced Lord Yahweh shot, he's back in the flesh, man. He's walking the earth today as one of these top army generals or something, man. Because you come back in your lot. Like the scripture says, the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Okay, so if you was a prophet then, you're coming back as a prophet now, right? Reincarnation. If you was a scoffer back then, you come back as a scoffer now. Okay, you was a Roman general, you coming back as a, you know, a, a captain or a lieutenant. Okay, and you saw his military or police force. All right, so it says, behold, Revelation one and seven. He come with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, right? And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. You see? So, hey man. I mean, uh, <laughs> that that that's that says a, a a lot right there. You know, reincarnation means rebirth, right? To be born again is 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 biblical. It's in the scriptures. All right, and we're going to close out on this one last one. This is Matthew chapter uh, 19, verse 20. I started 27. It says, Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we are forsaken all and follow thee. What shall we have therefore? So Peter's asking, Look, we gave him up everything on his side, man. You know, what are we going to get for following you, Lord? Right? It says, verse 28, And Yahweh shall say to them, Verily, which means truly, I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, rebirth, being born again back on this earth, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye shall also sit upon the thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. You see? So you're going to be sitting on the throne too with Lord Yahweh shot, man. There's a reward for teaching this truth, man. There's a reward for this work, man. Right? But the point of this lesson and in this, this last scripture was that the apostles are back, man. Okay? And and, 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 and they're following the Lord right now by do, by teaching the truth, the, uh, the correct doctrine, the correct names. Okay? That's what they're doing right now, man. It says that ye which have followed me in the regeneration. Going back to Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. Right? You're going to be sitting on the throne with the Lord, man. Okay? It says, um, 
when the Son of Man sit in the in in the in the throne of His glory, ye shall also sit upon the twelve. The tw he shall also sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. You see. And I'll go ahead and finish it out. Verse 29 says, Everyone that forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or fathers, or mothers, or wives, wife, or children, or land, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. You see? But the point I wanted to make about this, this lesson was reincarnation is biblical. So Lord willing, the, uh, the elect was edified to the next time I say, Shalom.